Well, here we go. We're, uh, ooh, what are we? We're June the 13th, maybe. The Tuesday, anyhow. Good two weeks behind. I've only had a couple of scorchers, so it's been an extra mild spring. Near perfect weather. Uh, except further back to fucking chemtrailing. The chemtrailed the piss out of us again. It's fucking rain thieves. You know, if you fuckers downwind don't don't get on this, they'll have adverse possession and they'll own the rights to that rain forever and you'll never be able to stop them. If they have the technology to steal all of it, turn you into a complete fucking desert and dry you out and then buy up your land for nothing. They'll do it. And they can. If you allow them adverse possession, you're fucked. That's a fact. Which can be, you know, anything for sure is, oh fuck, some jurisdictions I've seen are like five years for some categories of adverse possession. At any rate, you give something 10 fucking years, I think 12 years is about the longest jurisdiction precedence in any of the commonwealths for adverse possession. And that's it, they own the weather. They own you, they own the water. What hasn't been fracked and killed underground, they own. <laughs> the amazing part about these people is they can tell you this stuff and keep a straight fucking face. They're just so completely sociopathed over. They were all multiple torture victims, the whole bunch of you know, typical naughty story you heard it all. And they get some kind of closure or the fantasy that they can wipe you out and survive somehow and thrive and not have genetic bottlenecks. Well, they already are. I mean, a lot of them are interbred. And... If you don't do something about your syphilis, you die. If you don't do something about whatever it is, uh, giant beavers flooding out all your belt, all, all your lands, you die. Mosquitoes that build brain bug gates, Monsanto, you name it. If you don't do something about it, you die. You go extinct. You extinct yourself. And now there's people, insane fucking beings that are behind all this. They think of themselves as sentient, and that's their authority. And you must remove that from them with simply telling it like it is. No bullshit. No bars hold. You just tell it like it fucking is. The plain, simple, ordinary truth. That's all anyone, anywhere, has to fucking do. And all this shit, all of it, comes to an end. Click, 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 click. That's it. Hey, bug. We picked up a hitchhiker, so uh, I did one. So Cindy volunteered to go into the back. Now wet dogs, get the guy all wet and then... His next leg of the journey, they, they oh fuck man, sorry, now we changed my mind, we're only going a, a block. Out you go. <laughs> oh, some people can't handle wet puppy dog, I don't know. To me it just reminds me of, huh? Oh, wet puppy dogs and then, hee <laughs> puppy dogs. <laughs> I'll just give you one last look. So we're still a little bit green. Oh, I'm just gonna share my yard. I've never shown off my grass as well. A couple, but the films are restricted, so I'm not letting you see them. <sighs> not a drop of water. Well, I accidentally watered the disturbed area that had to I had to have it when I thought the uranium levels were still low. But we've actually tripled in the well water uranium. So, uh, no more watering. It's even above the post 311 Fukushima level. 
that's pretty sad. You know, just well enough, I could have grown, I could have grown a sufficient garden and preserved most of it, some of it. I don't have a freezer, but a big freezer for me and the dogs. I could have done it. Can't, no point, but you can't do nothing with the water. You, you leave it where it is. You're not allowed to mine uranium, and if you're pulling something out in a well, you're mining it. And you're liable for that. Even if you filter it out, in reverse osmosis, now you're still pulling out four times as much water. Because three quarters of acres used to flush the reverse osmosis thing continually. You know, plus, you have to sterilize. And Shame. So, what do you do for agriculture? I don't know. I, he knows all about it, so I'm sure he'll. <clears throat> his tomatoes will be tested. I don't have any money to test anyone else's shit or do nothing, so. Or anyone eats them. And hopefully, in that time, we don't go back to the. Pre-311 Fukushima levels, you know, where they shot everything up thousands and hundreds of thousands of times sometimes in the different categories of maximum allowable radiation types, you know, for each element or isotope or chemical mixture or whatever. Um, actinide. So, You wanted to live with it. Yeah, you know, I could build a solar still too. So then you're only, you know, you're not wasting a whole lot of water, which means bringing up more uranium and spreading it. Or what, what are you going to do with that, right? That's the problem. You'd end up with concentrated U U238, but well, uranium oxide or whatever it breaks down to as you're running it through your solar still. Because you need your most water when it's hot and sunny, so you know, there you go. This is when it'll be running at full capacity. <clears throat> but still, what do you do with your waste? And you're not allowed to. Even if you're under the level, the limits. And this will come to a boil, this is why I'm telling you. Okay, I'm not spilling the beans or anything, I'm just stating it like it is. Exactly like it fucking is under all the different laws. I'm not going to get into a thousand hour lecture. I don't have a thousand dollars to give. You want to know the details, you pay somebody. You're going to have to hire somebody confident for about 300 bucks an hour for their law firm to tell you. And they're gonna have to hire professionals that are gonna cost that much again per hour for their firms. Because the nuclear, the atomic industry is, is magical. And because it's one of the late comers, it's got so much built in deniability into the very infrastructure and how the, the nomenclature, the clapture of the, uh, of the professions involved. So that's your solution. You find a crop that A, won't pick up whatever contamination is in the ground, and because you don't want to use any water, you know, at any level, because you're saturated, you're filling your land up, your, your, your root zone up with uranium. So you want to grow something that won't pick up the uranium. I imagine everything will pick up some of that. something that doesn't need water because your water's no good. I mean, sure, in, in our case, you could probably do a deal and get reclaimed sewage water from across the street in the municipality of Oliver. Just still fuck it over your aquifer, so why do that? Why ruin your land? Grow something that doesn't require water that can grow naturally. You know, you can still enhance your soils 
Just, there are things you can do. Many, many things sustainably. Besides just poking a hole in my aquifer and mass disturbing everything until the change catches up and says no more. Soon, especially with this fracking accelerating and everything, it'll be worse than the old world. Everything used up, ruined. Maybe good after a, you know, hundred thousand years of cycling glaciations. Maybe three or four glacial events. Just that's uh, that's some legacy. But I guess that's why the galactic joke is. <coughs> Those Terran Syrian mutants, the uh, the uh, Ragnarok mutants, the uh, oh, what's the term, the uh, abominations of desolations. So if you knew this about them, why didn't you help them so they wouldn't go down this route and destroy my earth? And all the creatures in it. Why didn't you help them not be like that? Rather than, oh well, they'll wreck the joint on the way out. If any of them survive, they'll have that ingrained in their conscience. Total needless mass murder and nonsense. And that's supposed to do something for them? What, split their fucking personality and... Reduce them down to 10% of efficiency of what they could be. You really don't understand mammals at all, do you, fuckers? Let alone hominids. <laughs>